Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. Well, for today we have something that looks like a tablet because we have an 8 inch screen, but this is also a mini PC running Windows 10. So we have all the ports on the back here so you can connect this to a TV or a monitor. This is called the Goli One Plus and it costs somewhere around $220 to $240 depending where you buy it from. Now I'm not sure how useful this could be, I guess you could use this as a mini PC whenever you're at home and then you could use this as a tablet whenever you're not at home because we still have a 6000 mAh battery inside. For specs we have the Intel Z8350 CPU, this is a quad core CPU, we also have 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This tablet or mini PC it's running Windows 10. Let's start with a very quick unboxing. So the Goli One Plus comes in a plain looking box and all we can see on the box is the brand name and the model name. Inside the box we are going to find the device itself, we are also going to find the power adapter, a user manual that's in English and German and this user manual has a lot of instructions. There is also an HDMI cable and two metallic legs. Those metallic legs can be used as a stand so you can screw them behind the, the mini PC and this way the mini PC can stand by itself so you can comfortably see it. Now the device itself, so even though this is not that big, it's not that comfortable to hold. So for example, when you think of an 8 inch tablet, it's nice, cute and you can basically hold it in your pocket if you want. Well, that's not the case with this because this is quite thick. Unlike the previous model, the Goli One um, F1, if I remember correctly, this one is actually made out of plastic. The other one used to be made out of metal. So the sides here are all made out of plastic and the only metallic part that we have is on the back. On the right hand side we have a 3.5mm audio jack, we also have two USB ports and one of those it's a USB 3. We also have the volume up and a volume down buttons and the power button. And turning this around you're gonna find the holes for the speaker and I do believe that this has only one speaker. I haven't actually opened it to check it out but it sounds like it has only one speaker. The speaker doesn't seem to get that loud either so if you're in a noisy environment you're not gonna hear what's happening on the tablet. And lastly on the back we have the port for the power adapter, we also have the network adapter port, HDMI out, another USB port and lastly the micro SD card and a reset button. Since this can be used as a tablet the screen is also important, so we have an 8 inch screen with a resolution of 1280 by 800 so just over 720p. The colors are nice and vibrant, however the viewing angles aren't the best and the screen doesn't seem to get that bright, so if you take this outside yeah you cannot see the screen at all. As for the screen sensitivity, even though this is not the best that I've ever tried, I haven't had any issues with it and you can use one finger to actually navigate um, the tablet type and um, anything like that. Another important aspect for any tablet is the battery life. So inside this we have a 6000 mAh battery that takes about 3.5 to 4 hours to fully charge from 0 to 100. Now the battery life will depend from user to user and it really depends if you're playing games, if you're just watching videos, if you're browsing and so on. So I was able to get about 5 hours and a half on one battery charge and I was playing a game, um, I was browsing a little, so a bit of everything. But it really depends from user to user and how you use your tablet. Connectivity wise we have dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and the Bluetooth is useful because you can connect some headphones, you can connect a Bluetooth mouse, keyboard and so on and I did try it and it does seem to work great. As for the speeds over Wi-Fi well they're about average and nothing out of the ordinary. Now that you've seen how this looks on the outside, I'm gonna start recording the screen, we'll do a couple of benchmark tests, I'm also gonna play a game, play a few video files so we have a better idea how this would perform for day to day tasks. Alright, so first of all this looks just like any other mini PC that runs Windows 10. One thing I noticed that I didn't like that much was the screen resolution. So even though I have this uh, set up like this at this time and uh, I've tried it uh, having just one display, not uh, the display on the tablet. So even like that the maximum resolution that I can choose is always uh, this one. So you can go to 1080p no matter what, uh, even if you are not using the display um, of the device itself. So keep that in mind, the maximum resolution is basically going to be around 720p. And that could be disappointing if you're planning to watch some um, HD movies. For other settings, if we go to back, back, uh, let's go back one more time. So this is running uh, Windows 10 as I said before and this seems to be an activated uh, copy of uh, Windows 10. I did uh, do a whole bunch of updates yesterday so updates work uh, without any issues. And if we click to Windows update here uh, we can check out the update history so all these were uh, installed yesterday. 
so no issues um, with the updates. Now let's go back to system here and about and I just want to show you the Windows 10 the home edition so as I said before we have the Windows 10 home edition this is the CPU so the Z8350 clocked at 1.44 gigahertz we have 4 gigs of RAM and this is a 64-bit operating system for storage we have 64 gigs of internal storage and I've used about 20 but I have a whole bunch of stuff installed on the device so realistically you're gonna get somewhere around 40 45 gigs of internal storage but you can always put an SD card or something like that and expand that internal storage I've also wanted to show you the task manager here we can see the CPU this is the RAM so we have available 2.2 gigs of RAM at this time this is uh, the hard drive here so we have a Samsung uh, SSD in there somewhere uh, we are not connected uh, with the wire to the internet and uh, this is the Wi-Fi for our first benchmark test we get a score of 519 and this score is somewhat similar um, with the scores that we've seen on uh, other mini PCs with the exact same configuration so now if we click on home here we can basically see all the components um, of the mini pc so i'm just gonna click on the first one so this is uh, the video card and we have an intel hd graphics as you can probably tell it doesn't totally go uh, very smooth like moving around so we'll move back this is uh, the hard drive so we have um, some type of uh, samsung storage and we have uh, 50 gigs basically this is gonna be the motherboard and uh, this is uh, what we get American uh, Mega Trends, and we'll move back. And the CPU is right here. So we already knew the CPU, it's the Intel Z8350. And moving back one more time, we're gonna check out the RAM, and uh, we have 4 gigs of RAM. So this was the first benchmark test that we've done on this uh, device, and currently the device has about 77 degrees uh, for the CPU's temperature. For our second benchmark test on the Geekbench 4 we get a multi-core score of 717 and this is probably the lowest score that I have seen for a, a mini PC with this CPU and the single core score is 489. Now here we can see the operating system, the CPU and so on. Moving on to the speeds for the internal storage. Now even though these aren't the highest that we've ever seen, they are appropriate and on par with all the other mini PCs that we tried on the channel. Moving on to watching YouTube videos, so I'm using Microsoft Edge and I have to say that uh, watching YouTube videos is not the best experience because the videos don't seem to go totally, totally smooth. This is at a resolution of 720p and as you can probably tell it stops, it goes again, it stops, it goes again, so not the best uh, experience for watching YouTube videos. I'm not sure why this is happening, but um, yeah, it's uh, probably among the worst that I've seen for um, any mini PC that I tried. I'm gonna try to make this uh, full screen. So if you don't touch the mouse or anything like that, it seems to go okay, but as soon as you move something, um, it kind of stops and lags and so on. So definitely not the best experience on YouTube. I've also tried Kodi 17.1 on, on this uh, mini PC and uh, well it works okay but not uh, the best that I've seen. So everything is kind of in a uh, slow motion as you can probably tell. So let's open this one here, the cooking channel for example. So you've noticed that everything kind of moves uh, slow but uh, it's the same with uh, basically any program or app that uh, you actually open. So let's try this one and see if uh, we can get it going. Just so you have a better idea how uh, code you perform for live uh, streams. So let's click on this again. And uh, we'll just wait a second. If you have patience, you're gonna be okay. If you don't have patience, well, it doesn't work uh, that great. The live streams seem to go okay, but I've definitely seen uh, this much, much better uh, in the past because it kind of lags here and there and again, as soon as you move the mouse or anything like that, there is like a lag and uh, it uh, kind of stops. So, not the best experience for uh, Kodi. And since we have Kodi opened, uh, I'm gonna open uh, a few video files that I have on a USB stick. So, we'll just click on the USB stick here. Unfortunately, nothing is uh, happening. Everything is in slow motion. So let's click on the first one here. This is the file. We'll just uh, open it. And we wait. And the mouse is not uh, working anymore. 
So um, definitely not the best experience for uh, watching movies. When they start they do seem to go okay, but uh, again as soon as you move the mouse or uh, anything like that, uh, yeah, not, uh, not great. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna skip forward a bit. As I said, if you don't move the mouse and you don't touch anything, it seems to go okay, but as soon as you touch anything, uh, everything kind of stops, so for example. So, um, I'm not even sure if we should try the other files because it's gonna be the same with uh, all of them. So, let's just open a 4K file out of uh, Curiosity and see what happens. So, we have a 4K file at 60 frames per second. Let's try this one, just uh, out of Curiosity. And again we wait. And all I'm seeing is a black screen. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, but uh, it's still a black scre screen um, all over, so I'm gonna... S oh, look, it started. But again, it's in like super slow motion, as you can probably tell. So, definitely not the best experience for watching uh, videos uh, on this thing. Uh, it does actually work much better if you're just using it as a tablet, so not connected to a screen or uh, something like that. So if you'd use it just as a tablet, it works much, much better. So this may have to do with the fact that um, I'm duplicating the screen. But um, basically, if you do this, uh, you'd get the exact same results at home. So these um, are the files that I tried. Uh, there is no point in trying other ones because, um, as you've seen, uh, they are uh, in slow motion. So we'll... Uh, Stop Cody and uh, next I wanna play a game for a couple of uh, minutes just to have an idea how uh, gaming would do on this. Okay, so I'm using the keyboard and a mouse. It's not totally horrible, but uh, not uh, the absolute best either. So, next, 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 close. So, as I said, not <laughs> the absolute worst, but uh, not the best either. So let's uh, keep going. Let's press F. What's going on here? Look at that, we have zombies here. So yeah, maybe not the best for gaming either, however better than everything that we've seen uh, until now. So this is how uh, gaming would do on this. And it's time to conclude this video. So this mini PC definitely performed among the worst that I've seen for any mini PC that we had on the channel here. I'm not sure why because uh, based on the specs so or based uh, on paper uh, it should uh, work much much better. But uh, yeah, in reality it doesn't work uh, that amazing. Maybe this will be fixed with some uh, future software updates, but at this time, mm, it's definitely not the best. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.